This video was sponsored by Power Circle Clothing and Headbusters Food Company in association with Cook Up Unlimited. Cook Up! It's not a podcast! Yo, Dennis here back with another episode of This Is Not A Podcast. Y'all already know what the lick read. Make sure y'all like, subscribe, and hit that notification button. It's greatly appreciated. So, first of all, happy Money Making Mondays to everybody. I hope everybody is having a wonderful day. And so today I thought I'd do something different. I ain't did this in a while. I'm gonna literally edit this video today and I'm gonna put it out today. Unfortunately, I'm a little disturbed. So this was like an emergency video. So I'm just strolling on the internet today. It was a shooting in Nashville today at an elementary school. Seven people were fatally shot. And unfortunately, being that one of them was a female suspect, she was fatally shot by a five member police at around 10, 20, 7 a.m. Nashville time. That's crazy. And in this school, it's all over the news right now. It was at an elementary school. According to the Metro Nashville Police Department, the female suspect was 28 years old. Why would a 28 year old female suspect would go on a shooting spree, kill three children, three adults, her making herself the seventh that were uh, fatally shot and killed today? Unfortunately, I'm, I don't like to be the bit of the bad news. No, I'm not a news reporter, but this is just alarming. And um, just so happens that today I'm taking my daughter to school. I come home, my wife said, you know, another shooting occurred and it just so happens that it's Nashville. Now, I just happened to like Nashville, Tennessee, and you know, it was it was pretty cool. My, my visit there and it is unfortunate that we still have to continue to deal with these sorts of things if you recall like a while back it was a shooting at an elementary school in texas i'm like what is the deal with this and then a female suspect a 28 year old woman goes off and goes on a rampage and just get the shooting an elementary school <sighs> That is disturbing and um, it's unfortunate, man. You know, and I know everybody feel me on this. I know some people might let it go over your heads, but if you got kids, it hit a little different. I'm uh, a bit disturbed by that. It's alarming though, you know what I mean? I just took my kid to school and they make you think. My kid is, is homeschooled, by the way, but you know, we have to take, you know, children have to take state required tests. And I think this is just one of many reasons why I keep my kids at home. I don't think the school systems are safe anymore. And it's a shame you gotta have security and armed security at elementary schools these days. I mean, it's just mind bottling. It's like we just keep recycling, keep regurgitating these conversations about this stuff, man. And that's why, you know, I think, you know, we should all just homeschool our kids. And I don't think these schools, no, 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 not to the teachers. I mean, it's unfortunate that the kids can't experience going to school like we all did, you know, without having to look over their shoulder, watch their back, or having to, somebody just come out of nowhere and just start shooting up the place. You know what I mean? That's just crazy. Innocent lives have to be lost behind god knows whatever now the details are still developing as we speak right now so i'm not here to just give you my thoughts on what's occurring right now in nashville y'all know y'all can go your news it's all over the news right now it's trending everywhere and this one i really had to speak on i don't usually be the one that like to follow trending topics too much but this one i had to really speak on though because you know i'm pretty sure it's gonna be a gang of videos and a gang of commentary about this stuff i'm pretty sure uh, the podcast community everybody's gonna latch on to this because this one incident it doesn't have to happen in your state or your city or your town or your village for it to affect you man i mean like when something like this affects us all when it happens it doesn't matter color race creed religion it doesn't really matter you got innocent lives was lost here you know what i mean like we don't we don't the inevitable is occurring right now i don't know how many of y'all spiritual or anything like that but we can truly say right now the devil is busy right now we just want to pray for our kids just pray for our teachers just pray for each other going outside every day if you gotta you know go to work and have to deal with people in public places like kids can't go to school to learn school's supposed to be one of the safest places for kids elementary schools at that that's why i'm like virtual learning to me is the way to go parents get involved in their kids more makes it's more interactive it's a little challenging if you got younger kids like kindergartners or anything like that but when you got kids that's like four fifth and sixth grade it doesn't even matter at this point if, if a grown person could come in and shoot up a school something is wrong with that picture man that means you have no regards to life you just don't give a damn you know what i mean and i'm like come on man this is this got to stop but you know i just wanted to speak on that i could have went live and, and just go ahead and just go off on nah I, I just you know what I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this on the channel where it needs to be and it needs to be said you know it's just getting ridiculous at this point man 
Like right now, I'm thinking like right now, I just took my baby to school and she's going for state testing right now. That's the only reason I'm even allowing her to go to school and she was a bit nervous, you know what I mean? And you know, they've been in virtual learning since the pandemic and I never took them out. I'm real hands on with my kids. I don't know how everybody else is. I just happen to be a little proactive with mine and we, we try to be hands on with them and make sure they got the best advantages that they can have in terms of education and you know I won't let them dumb themselves down like I want my kids to be challenged you know what I mean I don't want you to dumb them down with some curriculum that they you know what I mean I think every parent you know should want to get a little proactive because you know we all get busy sometime and you know for me you know as busy as I am and I don't have all the answers but I'm just saying like when it comes to certain things man I'm on point education is one thing and being a protective being a father is another I'm always on point alert I, mean, I don't put nothing past nobody. I'm one of them type of dudes. My kids, when they go certain places, I won't even let them go certain places. Or they can't even spend a night at, you know, they can't even go to sleepovers. You know what I mean? Bring your kids over here. Like, we talk about this stuff all the time. And like, and same thing with these schools. Like, it's not the school. Somebody could be having a real breakdown, mental health. We don't know the situation or the story, but all I know is innocent lives don't have to be lost behind that. And I find that very disturbing. And I just, you know, the whole message behind this video yeah you know we read the headlines and all that we know that but the whole thing is as parents let's protect our kids at all costs some things is beyond our control because we have lives we got to pray over our kids and make sure they get back home in one piece make sure they stand prayed up make sure they stand safe sometimes we got to leave it in god's hands you know it's no way our kids should be nervous going to school like my child was nervous going to school for a whole nother reason not because of something like that but just being around a crowd of people she got to stay masked up she don't want to get sick she don't want to pass them germs, bring them germs home. So these are the things we think about. So we kind of stay on point still. Like we still remain disciplined in how we move and shape. I encourage all you parents to be the same way. You just never know out here. You know, everybody got things going on. Sometimes another person's problems can affect you. Not necessarily to your doorstep, but they can bring it to your kid's classroom. You know what I mean? Like that is crazy to me. Again, we got to be better. My thoughts and prayers go out to the victims, the teachers, the children, and all the parents out there that has to deal with this stuff. Nobody wants to see they, you know, not want to see this stuff flash across the screen. You know what I mean? Like, we got to keep in mind of the parents and the families. When something trends like this, they forced to see their loved ones across their screen all the time to remind them of this tragedy that just occurred not too long ago. My thoughts, my heart and prayers go out to the family. Again, this is crazy. We all, it's easy for us to say, you know, it, it could, you know, it couldn't be me. Woo -de -woo. You never know, man. Somebody could snap like that. So again, you know, fathers out there, man, protect your kids, man. Protect your kids at all costs. For all parents, I, I encourage homeschool, for real, man. I mean, at least, you know, your kids save it. It's sad, it's sad to say, man, at least they, they got a better chance of staying alive. You know what I mean? Like, we got to worry about real life situations just going to get an education right now. And I don't think in this society we living in, it's just getting way too much out of control. It's always bad enough, for like, you know, certain agendas is being pushed, things like that. And I'm not here to shake, rock the boat, but man. Man, let's get back to some form of normalcy for these children, man. Let's put all the BS aside. And uh, please, you know, mental health is real. Like I said, we don't know what's going on. You got to have some sort of mental issues to take it to that level. Praying for everyone's mental health. And once again, we don't know what to make a person snap. We don't know that lady's story or whoever else was involved. I really don't know. But man, God have mercy on y'all soul. <laughs> It's tough, y'all, man. But that's the end of my video. I just wanted to wrap that up one time. I got some more content I got coming for y'all already. But make sure y'all like and subscribe and hit that notification button. For those of you that watched this video to the end, I appreciate y'all watching this video to the end. It's very much needed. I hope this message gets out. This ain't got nothing to do with riding waves or chasing clouds. I'm, I'm coming to y'all as a parent, as a father, as a concerned citizen. Let's do better, y'all. Let's do better as a, as a nation. Let's just have a little bit of empathy for your fellow neighbors. But again, man, mental health is real, man. So once again, as always, how I ended off. For those of you that's on the new, this is how I ended off. Keep God first. Stay sucker free and by all means, get to the money. Peace and love. Stay healthy and I'm out.